Previously on Solar Balls, billions of years ago, two young planets, Proto-Earth and Theia, started working together to develop life. But as they grow closer to one another, the dangers of a planetary crash increase. Ahem. Hey, Theia. I'm so sorry for being a bit clingy. I hope you can forgive me, and we can be friends. Go, oh, friends? Really? Come on, don't friends on yourself. You've lost your core, Theia. On, it's a good place. The sun will absolutely hate it. I can be persuasive. The question is, do you like it? I love it, but it's not up to me. I just worry that the sun will overreact if we tell him. Okay, okay, we can put it on hold. And speaking of the sun, I gotta go before he notices I'm out of my orbit. Yeah, good call. I'll run a moon simulation using some asteroids from the belt. And I'll continue my research to see if there's anything we've missed. See ya. Bye, Prado. Anything of note? Yeah. Turns out, we're a bit off. So, my orbit, size, mass, and even the watery asteroids were not enough? No, you do need a moon. <sighs> Maybe I can ask Jupiter to give me one of his. Proto! But he has so many, I... I think it's time to reopen my plan from back. Come on, Thea, we talked about this. It sounds great, but... Proto, I have all the right arguments. If I go to the sun... The sun is a status quo paranoid. I I'm sorry, but it's true. Ugh, it's as if you don't want me to... Don't finish that sentence. Then I don't know what else to do. <sighs> You're the smart one, you know that? And you pretend to be dumber than you are. I'm smart enough to know that you're going to figure this out, okay? Okay. Thank you, Proto. Okay, why do we keep doing that? I mean, we did say we liked each other. I know, I know, but don't we know better already? Yeah. I wonder if it means something. Like what? I don't know, but it's the one thing we're holding back from doing. Only because we don't know the outcome. We could crash or merge or... I don't know. Yeah, but everything that has a structure in the universe first came from chaos, which then took shape through gravity. The sun, the planets, the moons. I mean, even we came from a previous generation of dead rocky planets. You're starting to scare me. I'm only saying that love and gravity can be very similar, okay? That's all. Love? I... I mean, generally speaking. Right. Anyways, the sun is... Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. I'll see ya. Yep. Uh, bye, Proto. Hey everybody, I'm Alvaro Calmet and I have a fantastic update. Like, finally, after a few months of, like, fixing this issue of tariffs, uh, solar balls can now ship our merchandise back to the US. So if you live in the US and you were not able to buy either solar, solar cards or our plushies, um, now you can. Um, and not only that, but very soon we'll have a few new options in the catalog. One of them being our good friend, um, I don't know who that is, but uh, maybe we'll figure it out soon enough. So uh, that's basically the update. I'm super excited. I'm so happy that this has been fixed. Uh, so yeah, um, back to the video. Hey! Hey, Venus. How's the life project going? Well, we reached a wall, and I have no idea how to demolish it or jump over it or, you know... Maybe... I can help? Nah, don't want to trouble you with my issues, but thanks. 
Can I be frank with you, Thea? Uh, yeah? I feel like you've taken me for granted. What? I know I was a bit clingy and, and jealous, but you started your research on life with me, and I really cared about it. Maybe I'm not as smooth or as fun as Proto, but I was happy with the bare minimum of being your friend. Venus, you... If you think your issues don't matter to me, then... Then you're not treating me as a friend. And if everything else fails, at least I want to be that. You are absolutely right. I haven't been fair as a friend, and I'm sorry. I just assume others don't care about me or my dreams. If that's how you think, then you're not being fair to those who do. <laughs> are you sure you want to help? Positive. Okay, come. I think I need to orbit Proto. Orbit Proto? Become a double planet with him. Or a moon. What? Come on, you're better than that. Any prejudices you have on moons is entirely in your core, okay? This could solve our problems. Like what? Adjusting its tilt, which could create seasons. Why do you need seasons? Because life would need regular changes in temperature. But that's not all. I could also protect Proto from asteroid impacts, slow down his rotation, and a few other things. Wasn't the plan for you to develop life? Suddenly it's all about proto -earth. This can only work if Proto and I work together. It was never about it being me. It was about bringing life to the universe. Whatever shape it takes. How would you... <laughs> become proto -earth's double planet? Well, first off, I'd have to speak to the sun. But Proto is sure the sun would say no and keep us apart. He thinks that? Yep. So for now, the plan is on hold, and I'm supposed to figure out another way to develop life. Which feels impossible. Hey, uh, do it. Uh, what? Proto is being paranoid. The sun also wants life in the universe, right? I believe with the right arguments, he could be persuaded. That's what I said! But Proto thinks the sun loves his status quo. And... He doesn't know the sun like I do. We're pretty close. You want to bring life to the universe? You have to take matters into your own hands. It's the only way. I think you're right. As I often am. I'll go and explain to the sun my plan, and I'll use every argument I can think of. Yeah. You do that. Thank you, Venus. I'll never take you for granted again. Wish me luck! Good luck! I'm sorry, Thea. I'm... really sorry. Want to watch the next episode? Eh? Well, join our Patreon to watch it and support the show.